I heard that they questioned you and Zach. I have so much to tell you. Andy, look, look, I don't have a lot of time. I need to tell you about Robin. Oh, yes, Robin. I know he's back in town. Good looking out. He really saved me in the nick of time. Andy, no, Robin is... Has been a big help. I honestly don't know if I can get through this without him. Andy, listen, I don't know how much of a help he's actually trying to be. Robin is really trying hey, to... I have to go. Um, can I call you back when we can really catch up? Wait, I just need to... Okay, folks, so, oh gosh, um, this sneak peek, uh, it's sisters, and this, I hate to be this guy, I really do, but this scene is just another prime example of characters who need to say something, but they don't. Now, I don't know what's more frustrating to me. The fact that Andy has been on this whole, I can't tell anyone about the Gary blackmail thing, even though she's had a number of times to do it prior to things getting worse and how they played, you know, uh, before they got worse to the point of where they are right now. She won't open her mouth. Yet, here we are in a situation where Fatima's trying to warn her about Robin and Andy won't shut the F up. It's like any other time, you don't want to say anything. But now that Fatima's trying to warn. I mean, Fatima should have been like, B, shut the F up and let me listen to you. Robin's trying to, because I don't really know exactly what's going on here. I mean, we know in the promo that Robin gives Andy's caseload to Hayden. And he does say this thing kind of by himself in terms of keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I don't know if he's trying to kind of push Andy out of the company. And also, Andy's at the hospital. I told you in my cliffhanger prediction, I bet she's going to be trying to go to Gary's room, but Hudson's going to, you know, block her from doing so. It's just one of those things where I definitely feel like we could see a scenario where you have Robin back, and while it seems he has good intentions, he's actually trying to sabotage Andy. But then again, if he's trying to sabotage people, he's going to get revenge on everyone. Gary, for, you know, stabbing Gary... Um, kind of getting Andy out of the company, ruin her chances of making partner. And then you have the Hayden thing where it's like, okay, I want to, you know, screw him over personally in terms of, you know, his career. But when you really think about it, could Fatima be overreacting? Because this could be after she finds out Hayden is her new boss. So she could just be reacting to the fact that she screwed over and she feels like Robin is going to ruin Andy as well because now she's working under her worst enemy. But I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But this this was a frustrating scene to watch, just like the Zatima scene with uh, Fatima at Deja's party. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next video.